it is also mixed with silver nanoparticles which is safe to even plants and also to our body leaves you know one of the plants and ensure that it doesn't react and then use it when you are con so if the roots are healthy your plants also will be healthy namaskar this is guru and uh, welcome to balisiri uh, when i started my journey as hydroponics you know around 6 uh, years back and i was uh, i was not having any space and i took a rooftop for a lease and uh, what i could set up was a small uh, 500 square feet net house and also i used to grow few vegetables using grow bag and coco peat and also uh, i had few of the twc deep pot culture uh, which i was using to grow lettuce at that time because it was easy to grow and uh, i could see faster results with what i learned and uh, <clears throat> i started seeing some kind of a, a root rot initially and i started feeling something i had to do to prevent it so i found that hydrogen peroxide is something that can cure the root rot i bought hydrogen peroxide and soon i mixed it with the water and uh, went home thinking that some magic will happen the next day um the next day when i came back and i could see all the lettuce were droopy you know they were all sleeping and uh, i was really panic i thought you know maybe i have done something wrong and i soon found that i added more hydrogen peroxide in the water than i was supposed to so that's how i uh, made a mistake so this is the beauty of doing mistakes and uh, learning um i soon found out that too much of oxygen is going to damage the plant so even if you breathe too much of oxygen it's not good for us right so the same way even plants were not doing well with lots of hydrogen peroxide that's the good and bad about hydrogen peroxide and i'm going to talk about that today the first time i heard about hydrogen peroxide was when i was a kid and um, we used to use hydrogen peroxide for cleaning the wounds and um, some people put it in the ears also to clean it but i never used it so that hydrogen peroxide which you get in the medical shops is 2.5% uh, hydrogen peroxide which is safe and uh, what we use in hydroponics is a 50% concentrate which is uh, 20 times more than what you get in medical shops so obviously you have to be very careful about that hydrogen hydrogen peroxide because it is going to uh, create damage it's going to cause damage on your skin if you use it without gloves why do we need hydrogen peroxide so let us talk about it So the next question arises is is it safe to use yes definitely safe to use provided you wear gloves so why we have to use 50% concentrated hydrogen peroxide is because uh, it is cheaper compared to what you can get in medical shop because you need to use it for multi purposes so that's what we're going to talk about and it is safe because it has hydrogen and oxygen in it so there is no other uh, chemical in it but only it becomes little uh, dangerous when considering its concentration that's it it is also mixed with silver nanoparticles which is safe to even plants and also to our body so you need not have to worry about that and this combination of hydrogen and oxygen and silver nanoparticles act really well against root rots and also against any germs that may cause issues in the water and it is it is also used as a growth promoter because when you induce oxygen into the uh, reservoir the water that you are feeding to the plant which is having some nutrition also so that will really help the growth of the uh, roots so if the roots are healthy your plants also will be healthy so what are its uses uh, uh, in hydroponics is first of all to uh, eliminate root rot or 
used as a precaution to prevent root rot. Um, adding hydrogen peroxide in a very small quantity in the water will definitely help fight any uh, anaerobic bacteria present in the water so that it will generate more oxygen and also kills the anaerobic bacteria. Because of that, root rot will uh, be prevented and also be cured. And uh, the next uh, use of hydrogen peroxide is uh, the fungus as an antifungus. Since fungus is also a microbe, this can also be treated using hydrogen peroxide. And we can also mix it in a moderate level and also use it as a spray on top of the leaves. So please use it in a very diluted way like a few drops initially because you are not used to it and uh, spray it on top of the leaves and see how things work and if there is any reaction please use it even diluted. So it applies to any of the pesticides or any of the uh, organic or inorganic pesticides or antifungus that we use because whenever you spray something that you are not really aware of and you are using for the first time, please do it on top of the leaves, few leaves, you know, one of the plants and ensure that it doesn't react and then use it when you are confident to the whole garden. You can spray it all to all the plants. It is also used as a precaution uh, like we normally use it to avoid root rot and add it as a proactive measure into the water. So that will definitely help to prevent root rot. And one more use of hydrogen peroxide is to clean uh, the NFT systems or deep water culture, whatever you use for hydroponics because the hydroponics is something that we use sterile material. So that's why we clean it with around 20 times uh, you have to dilute it so that it can be used to clean um, something that we are going to use it for hydroponic purpose and also you can use it as a fumigation fumigation is nothing but you are cleaning the whole area growing area and you want to ensure that there is no germs or any fungus available that can be treated using hydrogen peroxide so that will really help of course it all depends on how big is your farm if it is too big and if you don't want to use it you can definitely have some other methods to fumigate you can also use potassium permanganate which is cheaper than hydrogen peroxide so it all matters you know what you use it all depends on how much you have a budget for your farm or the accessibility and what is good what is not bad you decide you know i'm just giving you what is available this is just an option and and the very important thing about hydrogen peroxide is it is very uh, dangerous when you use it without clothes as i already told you if it drops on your skin it will oxidize your skin so you will see a white patch and it may really go after some time you know you have to just uh, splash some cold water and uh, if it falls on eyes and you will have to immediately go to the doctor it may be a uh, it may be a problem so you can also uh, take a precaution when you're sending it across to someone because it should not be sent to a courier and all because it, it could be a very hazardous thing to do, right? So be careful when you're using this, but it's very safe when you use it with safety measurements. So this information, uh, if you feel it's helpful, please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get some notifications. And um, also, we do conduct practical trainings on hydroponics and if you want to just experience it, just uh, contact us and we'll tell you how exactly you can come and join our team and learn with us, grow with us. So that's it for now and uh, next I will be coming up with some other interesting information about growing. Keep growing and uh, keep eating healthy food. Bye bye for now.